Hey y'all, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda The Twilight Princess. And I think I am going to go ahead and start out trying this boating minigame because we get something really good if we finish it. Of course, this may take several tries because this might be a little bit difficult. Ah. Hey, welcome. Thanks to you, we're back in business. Well, we can't offer much, but just make yourself at home. And of course, if you want a boat ride, just let me know. I'd be happy to rent you one. Sure, give me a boat. For a rental fee of 20 rupees, you can get a boat and guide. You want one? Tell me about it. If you hop on a boat here, you can ride all the way down to Lake Hillia. And feel free to blow up any of the targets posted around with your bomb arrows, okay? The targets look kind of like jars. Green targets are worth one, red ones are worth two. If the boat hits anything, you lose one point. Get at least 25 points for a prize. Yeah, let's try it. You all set? Have a good ride. Let's see how badly we do. Again, I want to say that the river is mostly going to guide you down. You should not have to row too much. He says as he rams into the wall. Fortunately, I didn't have any points. I believe you have infinite bomb arrows, so... You know, go nuts. This is not really a test of accuracy, as it is being able to multitask, I think. Those targets? No, those are leaves. I love how she said they're green pots, but most of them are yellow. I mean, they do have a green top, but the red ones are completely red, right? So it's really interesting that they said that these are supposed to be green. Okay. We're going nice and gentle right here. Not too bad. So far, so good. And the river is doing a pretty good job of guiding me. Which is handy. I think the only time I've hit something is when I didn't have any points to lose. So I'm actually pretty pleased right now. Ten more points. Uh, go with it. Ow. Oh, here we go. This is where we're going to lose points, is it? Didn't expect to actually hit that. Oh, uh, am I gonna miss that? Haha! <laughs> Gamble's worth it. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna hit something here. I think I'm done. Maybe not. Ah! Two points short, really? Two points short. Okay. Well, that's the game. So, not actually too difficult. I think I'm going to go through this one more time, and that'll probably be to earn, hopefully. I can just go up, but I doubt it, which is a good thing, because I actually saved before I started this, so I might have to reload my game. Thanks for your patronage. 
Yep, you're gonna lead me down here. On the trip down river, you scored 23 points destroying targets. Oh, that's too bad. If you'd gotten at least 25 points, I'd have given you a lovely prize. Wanna go again? Yeah, sure. Okay, good. Alright, I will see you guys when I accomplish this. There we go, 25 precisely. Only hit twice, I think. Which still almost cost me the game, but you know. It's still pretty good. I only twice when it counted, and now I hit once to start. I'm not sure you can avoid that one. But you don't have any points to lose, so who cares? Thanks for your patronage. On this trip down river, you scored 25 points destroying targets. Congratulations. As the first customer to score at least 25 points, you received this prize. You got giant bomb bags. You can hold twice as many bombs as before. The exact number they can hold depends on the kind of bomb. Come again anytime. So when they say we get giant bomb bags, that means all our bomb bags are now double capacity. That means we can hold 30 water bombs and 60 normal bombs at this point. We're never, well, when they're full, we're never going to run out of bombs, which is pretty good. I actually need to go ahead and 
excuse me, I need to go ahead and change. I think it's time to head for Lake Bed Temple, which means I need to dress appropriately. Although I might want to look around a bit. I think there is a stamp down here somewhere we can find. Why don't I look for that? And then we'll go for the temple. So what, if, unless you really want to see me just searching everywhere, I'll be right back. Okay, well, I think I found it. I've at least found something. It is. You found the stamp for the Hillian letter W. Check out your stamps on the collection screen. It's really kind of a shame that this probably isn't going to be remade this year for the Switch, because it would have been nice to see what they would have done with these stamps. As it is, they're basically kind of a useless collectible. But a collectible it is! Actually, kind of aren't all collectibles useless? No, because heart pieces are kind of are collectibles and they're useful. Postals. Oops. Uh, nothing! Don't, don't worry about that. Postals? What are those? I don't know. Let's head for the temple. Oh, speaking of collectibles, we're almost done with bugs. The four bugs that we have to get are in areas that we can't access yet. So, for, the, for all intents and purposes, we're pretty much done with bugs. And it won't take long to finish once we can get to the areas, because if I remember right, at least two of them are not well hidden. There we go, speak. I will speak to your crotch. Sir, you wear the garb of the hero in my people's legends. Are you perhaps... A fairy? I too believe I am a fairy. Well met, I, dear hero, am a maker of bombs. Pardon me for asking, have you heard of water bombs? They are very dangerous indeed, but you should be able to master them. I am sure you would find them quite useful. How would you like to buy some of my handmade water bombs for 90 rupees? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, how many did you actually give? Okay, I'm full up, good. So, if you need water bombs, you can get them here, clearly. It's nice for them to put somebody here to sell you water bombs. Because you're gonna need at least one to open up this temple. Did you tell me of your people's troubles? The place beyond this rock is sacred to my people. It was once called the Zora Temple. But now it has been overrun by monsters. They're everywhere. All we could do is seal them in so they could not bring darkness to others. I, I will fix that. Sealed in, you say? Hmm. Oh, I know what I have to do here. This is an updraft, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to blow this open with a water bomb and then put a water bomb in it. Drop. So it takes two bombs to open this up. All because we can't actually use bow and arrow. We can't make bomb arrows underwater. So a pretty nifty way to open the temple. Hey, I'm letting the monsters out. I hope that's cool. It is now unsealed. You can go in. You're welcome. Welcome, welcome. You're welcome. Everything you wanted. You're welcome. I kind of want to see how you feel about this. The temple inside is nothing but a nest of darkness now. You must not enter. Did you really do it? You must not enter. I don't know what I actually said, but that's what he said. In I go. Time for this world, or this Zelda's water temple, and we all know water temples are everybody's favorite. To be fair, this one's really beautiful. Uh, I don't remember much else besides it. But it is very pretty. Let's just avoid the enemies for now. I'm not convinced we can actually do anything against enemies underwater. Yet. The Lake Bed Temple. Oh! 
purple choose. I'm not even gonna bother with your... with your goo. Red choose, however... Tempting. Very tempting. Um... I guess I don't actually need... Two bottles of oil. And I just barely got that. You only have a limited amount of time to get chew jelly, so you have to be kind of quick. You put red chew jelly in your bottle, set it to Y, X, or R, and drink it to replenish eight hearts. I will now immediately move that somewhere else. It's funny how we're gonna have 90 bombs and only 30 arrows. You got water bombs. So they will replenish your bombs if you need them. Water bombs are apparently going to be playing a big deal in this temple. Oh, uh, more pu purple chew jelly. You can't even use purple chew jelly as lamp oil. It's completely useless unless you really want to gamble with your health. And by gamble, I mean it can... It has a completely random effect, which means it can take hearts away. It can poison you. In fact, I think it can even poison you to the point of death. It can take all away all but like one quarter of your hearts. It's not worth it. I feel like... Okay, I feel like two things. One... I don't know if that's the water, but I still feel like I hear... a chew. And two... It kind of sounds like a howling stone a little bit, but there shouldn't be one in the temple. It's just the tone of the music they chose. Okay, I did hear it too. There it is. I knew I heard one. Now, I do remember for this temple... That's what heal up. Doink. And scoop. I thought I took these off the bar, too. Um, we're probably gonna need water bombs more than anything. Um, I do remember you get one of the coolest items. Or at least, well... You get one of the most fun items. Technically, it's not one of the coolest items, but they do a lot of cool things with it in this game. Whoa, that's treacherous. Whoa, don't you think you ought to knock down those stalactites hanging off the ceiling first? They don't look to be very stable. I bet they'd break pretty easily if you hit them with enough force, don't you think? So, bomb arrows. Alright. Yeah, they don't look stable at all. Gotta hit them at the narrow point or they won't fall, I don't think. Eh, maybe not. I just hit them at the narrow point. Learn something every day. Blue tight tights. That's all of them. All right, let's go back to normal arrows. I don't know. Just because I have a ton of bombs doesn't mean I necessarily want to blow everything up. Oh, and by the way, you can injure yourself with bomb arrows. If you hold the bomb arrow cocked too long, it will explode in your hands and do a little bit of damage to you. So you cannot. Take your time. You pretty much have to know where you're gonna shoot it once you light one up. Which is funny, because I don't remember them doing that in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> but it, unless you're like in, you know, in Death Mountain, then they blow up on you, because, you know, hot. But otherwise, their fuse lasted forever. Wonder if that was the quality of life change based on the complaints of of them blowing up in your hand in Twilight Princess. Oh, you're a Helmarok. You are this game's Helmarok. Which means I need to practice my back attack on you. Which is not that. And I don't really have a room for it. Excellent. Yeah, we're gonna have to be practicing the back attack to take down Helmaroks quite a bit in here. And if you don't have the back attack at this point, you're pretty much going to have to avoid them. Unless you can trick them into doing that, stunning themselves on a wall. 
I think we're actually going to have to be using this as a weight for some puzzles. Not here. I hope, because I can't really carry it with me. But we're going to be using it as a weight in other places. Sorry, my bad. I ruined that for both of us. Ow. Oh, interesting. You can knock them back like that. Slice you in the butt. Yeah, hemorrhoids are not going to be too da dangerous. They only did like a quarter damage. Just really annoying more than anything. Uh, for the for the time being. Uh, I don't hear any whistles or wiggles, so nothing. No really interest in that in those pots and uh, normal bombs to replace the ones we used for bomb arrows. Excellent. Now I'm gonna, not gonna lie, I don't remember a lot about this temple. This is the one I probably remember. Actually, hang on a sec. No, those pots are normal. Um. <clears throat> this is probably the early temple that I remember the least of. I don't think it's as annoying as the water temple in. Ocarina of Time or even Majora's Mask, but it is, it does have its own share of backtracking. Hey, Lizalfos! Nice of you to show up. I'll stab you in the butt. Ah, this central chamber is so pretty, though. And there's a treasure chest up on the chandelier. Bunch of locked doors, bunch of blue tech dikes. We have our work cut out for us. I think we can go a little bit longer. We'll explore this, this room here. I do believe that the main gimmick of this temple is instead of controlling water levels, you're controlling water flow. Which is slightly better. But it still does require its own share of backtracking. Especially when the water flow is against you. But you... I mean, we won't have to go in and out of our... Of our, um... Of our inventory. Or our equipment screen to put on our boots. So that'll be a definite plus. And... I don't think we're going to have to deal with the kind of pain in the ass swimming that there was in Majora's Mask. I do think that the boss fight is going to be a lot more manageable. The boss fight and Majora's Mask and, and the temple there. And uh, the Great Sea Temple, I think it was. Absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. That was a real make or break fight for depending on how well you learn to swim. Alright. Looks like this is our only door available. <laughs> smashy smashy! And by available, I mean we can't go very far. So, not actually available at all. Because this water wheel is actually blocking the way. I don't see a way up. Alrighty. Let's drop further in. I actually didn't think we can make it over that. We got some vines to bring us back up. Oh, those are not nice fish. Those are piranha. They will attack you in a swarm if you fall in. So, avoid that water unless you have a reason to get in there, because you can't really fight back. And I don't think we've got a reason to get in there yet. 
Let's see here. I want to look at the central pillar. Yeah, I don't think we want to. There may be something down there. I'm sure. I'm sure they're guarding something. Yeah, you know what? You only live once. You die many times. Let's dive in. I don't even know why I didn't have my boots. Let's put boots there and bomb there. I think that'll sort us out. What do we got down here? Absolutely nothing. Looks like we might be able to sort this out with a bomb, but can we do that yet? Nope. And I don't see another reason for us to be down here. So, might as well check, but now we need to get out. Before we get nibbled. Oh, they see us. The nibbling has begun. Alright. So, nothing that we can do down there yet. I believe the keyword is going to be yet. Too bad we can't poison that pool and kill all the little nibbles. I guess that would be kind of mean, though. I really don't like the fact that this background music kind of sounds like there's a howling stone somewhere. Okay. Hmm. Well, we can't do anything down below. Actually, that didn't help us out at all, did it? There's another sluice gate. No. No, that didn't help us out. And the ooh, actually, what we can what we can do is something I didn't do. There we go. Let's try this. Fortunately, we're not gonna drop into the pool. Now we turn this around. Now we can explore the other side. With this tech type. Yes, exactly what we wanted. Let's see, another sluice gate. And we can't go any further this way. And that door is locked. Just want to make sure that that's the only other area we can get to. The tech type tells me it probably is. Yes, okay. Alright. Well, I think with our wandering and cavorting, we've actually killed all the little extra time we had, so next time we'll travel deeper into the Lake Bed Temple, and I'll see you then. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me a like, leave me comments. Remember to subscribe. Don't shake. Stupid camera. And I'll see you guys next time. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.